right, we're going to be back here uh, for the final round today of uh, the LCQ. Uh, we are actually going to be bringing on two, three, and ones. Uh, both of these people have a very good shot at being in the Invitational uh, with a four and one score, so one of these will have that score. And it would be somewhat unlikely for that person not to get into the Invitational. They do. They're both sitting right now with some pretty good strength of schedule mm -hmm. uh, as their tiebreaker. So uh, we're looking at the winner of this one here. And we also uh, we ended up with two affiliations we still haven't seen on stream, which I think is incredible. We've been we ran uh, undefeated, and people who are in contention uh, to move on mm -hmm. to tomorrow's Invitational, and we got a different affiliation every time. So I think that just shows, you know really how great um, how great the meta is right now and Speaking how great of, I don't think is. I have icons for either of these <laughs> <laughs> we literally Ask so for this. so for the past five minutes uh, right before we came on the stream we were talking about how excited we were to have this so am I surprised that you don't have either of these no not not even a little <laughs> I mean, that sounds icon yeah, by all means, keep going. All right. Well, so um, on, once once we flip over here, so we are going to have uh, we're going to have Spider Foes uh, on the left and Midnight Suns on the right. Again, this is a win and in. Both of these players have gone three and one so far today. Uh, four and one with their strength of schedule should make it in. Uh, everyone right now that is four and zero, oh, um, they are they are going to play it out, of course. But um, even with a loss at those top tables, they are probably going to be. Uh, or they are going to be in the Invitational tomorrow with their tiebreakers. So we wanted to bring you something that had a little bit of higher stakes there, uh, something that, um, you know, they're, play they're playing to get in. For, for one of these two, um, they are getting into the Invitational tomorrow, and unfortunately for one of these two, uh, this is, the, this is their, last, uh, their last chance at the last chance. That's right. Uh, and they will see it, uh, unfortunately, go away. So Gentlemen. definitely... Um, I've already got a judge call, and the time has not started. Uh, that's right. That's um, how you know the action is hot. Yeah. Um, and we are uh, we are setting up. Have they rolled priority yet? Do we know? Uh, Taylor, have they rolled priority? Not yet. All right. I really appreciate these guys giving me a little bit of time to get this up. Absolutely. So we are. Uh, we're very excited. This is this is as high stakes as it gets. Tomorrow we are looking at. Uh, we're looking at a lot of single elimination, mm -hmm. uh, so this is a, a great way to end tonight uh, and get kind of into that. So, Cliff Jumper is assaulting yeah. Taylor right now, and only a way Ben has in the past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well then. So, uh, Taylor is, uh, we will make sure that we do have a judge around because Taylor is wildly biased for spider foes. Yes, that he is. So, uh, we will make sure that, uh, that this is safe uh, for, uh, for our uh, Midnight Suns player. Mm -hmm. um, let's... Um, you know what? I'm I'm gonna make my big chucker here while Taylor's uh, far enough away that he can't hear it. Yeah. Um, I got Midnight Suns winning this one. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I do I do have Spider Foes for this. So there we yep. go. Um, so we are uh, we're on opposite sides there. Uh, we will see. We are rolling for priority now. And that's going to be spider foes. Well. Spider Taylor told us that spider foes won priority. Um, we'll confirm that, but yeah, he might be lying. He, he could be lying. <laughs> no, spider foes wins priority there, so we are uh, we're letting them uh, set up. Yes. What? Yeah, so I already said I was voting for Spider Foes, and guess what? Now I'm double voting for them. I'm going to rig the results. <laughs> what do we have? All right. Yeah, we've got a extract. Our uh, secures and extracts. Uh-oh, everything broke in these affiliations. Thanks. <laughs> oh. oh, my. I spread it out. Here we go. What do we got? All right, so we have demons and alien ship. Demons and alien ship. 
demons and alien ship crashes down. The first time we've seen either of these today. Yes. At 19 threat. 19 threat. Tim, why are you breaking stuff? Listen, man, if you knew me, you'd know. Yeah. This is all this is all very standard. Alright, I'm finding my uh, our secures here. I'm learning how to read. Uh, oh. Oh no, demons. I thought it said pirates. What was that? I'm trying to find uh, demons uh, on here. Look, it's our icon for spider foes. It's taking up the screen. <laughs> <laughs> this is live. We, we are doing it. We as live can be, y'all. Demons Downtown has our come up and come do. I found it. And then alien ship crashes. So look at this as we get started here. This is why you come to the Professional Casual Network. Right. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> Thank you so much. So as they uh, put their uh, put their teams together here, so uh, Threat 19, the secure Demons Downtown. We've got three flaming portal uh, tokens. Uh, player score. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, them. Oh my. Uh, we need a mod on that right now, please, if there's a mod um, in this. Okay, cool. Uh, huh. Oh, nice. Mod and chat right now, please. Going way faster than I can do anything about. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Huh. Um, I can't ban these guys from, from there. That sucks. Uh, let's reset the scores. Oh, I don't know if I can do it from my phone. What a time to come back in. Yep, so we're getting a little unfortunately raided right now, which is not a good thing by a bunch of bots. Thank you for the throw, or for the three-second slow-mo. Thank you. What's that? Okay, great. Thank you, Taylor, for stepping in okay. there. Okay. Never boring, never boring. Right. Um... But uh, so we've got uh, we got the teams right now. So Let me get that. this is Spider Foes, yes. Yes. Um, so we've got uh, Green Goblin. GG. Lizard. The lizard makes you slizzard. Uh, Craven the Hunter. Craven. A rhino. Okay. Mysterio. Mysterio. And Bullseye. Nice. Big fan of Bullseye here. And yeah. Mysterio. So hopefully if uh, Taylor has put that team together, if there is a Cosmic Ghost Rider in there, it is on the bottom for this next one. But uh, I, Yeah, I can almost guarantee it's not a Cosmic yeah. Ghost Rider on this one. So I'm feeling real good about myself. Uh, and then we've got uh, Sinister Traps. Nice. This is a robbery. Robbery. Which we've seen. Uh, Brace for impact, of course. Mm -hmm. Smash. Smash. And patch up. Okay, nice. You love seeing Sinister Traps and Spider Foes for sure. Absolutely. And then uh, Midnight Suns here, we've got Blade. Wong. Mm -hmm. Dr. Voodoo. Shout out to Dr. D. Yep. Uh, Ghost Rider. And Beta Ray Bill. And BRB, okay. What do we got for Tactics cards? We have Siege of Darkness. Mm -hmm. Siege the... Fall Back. Mm -hmm. Patch Up. Patch Up, pretty popular one. Uh, Deal with the Devil. Deal with the Devil, uh-oh. And Brace for Impact. And Brace, is the Ghost Rider that we have just regular Ghost Rider or is it Cosmic? Oh, just uh, regular Ghost Rider. Regular okay. Ghost Rider, correct. Deal with the devil. So, You'll nice. get caught up in the deal with the devil. Fantastic. There we are. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Lots of incinerate. Yep, on Midnight Sunside. Yeah, you are spot on there. That's it. Yeah. So we've got uh, we've got some uh, flaming portals here um, that uh, give out incinerate. So. Uh, I know incinerate is one of the uh, one of the things you really you really don't want incinerate on a lot of stuff. That's um, right. So it does lower your defense dice. Yeah. 
right, which is never stellar. It's one of my favorite conditions to put on people. Yep. But over on the uh, Midnight Sun side, we have Dr. Voodoo mm-hmm. and Ghost Rider that are immune to incinerate. Okay. Is Beta Ray Bill also immune? I'd hope not. But again, nailed my first big chucker with uh, no Cosmic Ghost Rider all day. A little surprising. Yes, we were talking right. about it being up near the... You were thinking it would be up near the 50% uh, yesterday. So. Interesting. Starting with what? All right. We have a Craven down on the board for the Spider Foes. Dead center in that vacant parking lot. Also, a huge shout out. Uh, Richie was going over some stats and stuff, seeing who we had and had on, who we have had on, whether we're going to have a 4 0 or go for one of the three ones that might be able to get in off this game alone. And then Amnes came over and pretty much said the same exact thing. Uh, great minds. Great minds. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We um, wanted to make sure we got you something here that, um, you know, obviously even the 4 0 players are going to be playing hard and playing for something, but this one, we just. You know, you can't you can't duck the stakes uh, right. that we have here. Win and in is uh... well, and Spidey dude, if you wanted to pick up that map, um, you can do so uh, over here at FLG. So using this link, yeah. the frontline yeah. game number one. Yeah, if you uh, use that link to buy event tickets, maps, trains, mats, minis, paints, or games, you can even pick up Woofer. The Grim Podcast of Perilous Adventures or WFRP 4th Edition Actual Play Podcast. You can grab the books for there over at Frontline Gaming as well and help support the network. Absolutely. No grand illusion. Let's keep it on for now. Yep. Wow. Just a lot of drama here uh, as we get to the finals of the MCQ in more ways than one. That's the thing. It's it's Vegas, baby. Anything can happen. So we saw four BRBs today, mm-hmm. um, but we haven't seen one since round two, so it's been a minute. We saw four. Um, Did we have double beta ray bills in the first We had double rounds? in round one, uh, wow. and then one in round two, and then didn't really see any, but... No grand yes. illusion. Straight to jail. <laughs> so for fighter foes, we also have Lizard down on the south side, and then for Midnight Suns, looks like a beta ray bill. Ad- and- Adman also called the see the people, you know? We're in tune with we're in tune with what the people want too. <laughs> Did you really? That's awesome, dude. So we have Blade down on the south for the Midnight Suns, Beta Ray Bill with Wong straight above him. <laughs> as I as I was I was making a list of three and ones before the they were up, and Joe and John uh, and one other person were on that list, and I was like, yeah, if these guys get matched up with anybody who hasn't already been on stream, that'd be cool. Yeah. And then they just got matched up together. <laughs> John is local. As I said, we've got we've got communities all over. They've got someone to root for, it seems like. Uh, so John uh, is holding that mantle. Uh, and I, you know, I big chuckered on Midnight Sun, so That's right. I'm on uh, I'm watching his results uh, this round specifically. <laughs> but yeah, on these E's, right? So you have Alien Ship and you have Demons yeah. Downtown on the same map. So this is a map that there's a number of characters really like. One of the rampant things that we saw recently was uh, the Red Skull 2 with Malekith and Hulk mm-hmm. on something like this, where they just gang up and they dogpile on somebody, or mostly everybody, usually. Yep. Um, but we're seeing a couple wide lists here, which is actually very nice to see with Midnight Suns and Spider Foes. Um, are we six wide on Spider Foes? We are. Okay, Sorry, everyone. So we have a Sinister Trap on the rightmost demon. So what Sinister Traps does is the first time one of the spider foes enemies gets within range two of that objective, he will roll four dice. And I believe for each crit and wild, it'll crit hit and wild five dice. It'll do one damage. Okay. If any damage is done, he then can then move that character off the point short. Got it. So, and that's automatic, no defense roll. Oh, wow. Anything that, yeah. All of those tricks, yeah. We love automatic things. Um, I really like them. I don't like to roll dice. Yeah. Rolling dice is really the worst thing you do at this game. Or any game that really has dice rolling. Correct. (laughs) But we've seen some of those uh, kind of misfire today, right? We saw 
um, Alyssa's Terra Genesis, yep. uh, which should have, you know, on average done two, only did one, and was against the Beta Ray, who could reduce that down to nothing. Yep. So it's... Yeah, we've seen... It seems like we've seen people get real hot with dice uh, and then get real cold. Uh, As they say, the dice always balance out. Yep. So... All right, so we have double short moves to the fighter foes, moving up to that back demon. Hmm. Odd. My a, a long time ago, mine mine got hacked and spam bodied a bunch of people gotcha so that was a fun thing so that so we've man, seen it before but it hasn't been for a while yeah that's that's they were like now you have to have two factor or you can't come back right <laughs> and it was like okay <laughs> uh so we have blade moving up did he grab an alien ship and he did grab an alien ship oh, okay That's a great question, Trid. I don't know uh, whether that was on purpose or not. But Omnis has been very good about coming over like every two rounds and changing up the map a little bit. Yeah, I believe it's done. It's done after the last round, so I don't think anything was moved between uh, when that round ended and when we knew who was going to be here. So. All right, so we do have a tail whip on Blade here, showing four. Blade blocking two. Three. So two are going to go through there. We did get the push as well. So Spider Foe's affiliation ability is they can re-roll one of their opponent's defense dice. Okay. So that crit. Oh, that remains. So he was crit. he was re-rolling it. Okay, I thought I got you. So and with that push, that will get Blade further away from the action. Tim, as someone who's been in a lot of pressure cooker high uh, high pressure situations uh, at very large tournaments how are you feeling here at the end of a uh, at the end of a long a long day of tournament and now you're here you're winning in you've got you you know everything you did before it really all comes down to this for these players and once again that was why uh, thankfully between Richie and Omnis uh, chose this particular one because this is still keeping the stakes up those 4-0 games don't have a whole ton to worry about <clears throat> but these guys certainly do absolutely but how do you feel you know it's so tough to get to this last round and know that you know yes I'm at this point because of how I played before but I have to win this one you know I've you know everything that I've done so far can be for naught if I if I don't win this one so I'm taking a little extra time here on my turns, making sure that I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm keeping an eye on, uh, on the clock here. There's just, there's a lot to take into consideration here. There is. Uh, so Voodoo went up and grabbed that top alien ship and then mm -hmm. Bullseye double moves behind that LVO sign. Mm -hmm. So to your, to your question though, I think, you know, if, I think both of these players have got to be feeling a different way about this. Uh, John is really strong on demons. Three characters that are new to incinerate uh, is really a great spot to be in here. A really strong advantage. Spider foes um, also have a lot of tech going on here that yep. could be very beneficial. We're seeing some of that now with these sinister traps. And he is doing three damage out of the gate to Wong. Oh, wow. Um, with the Sinister Traps there. All right. Missed the first few moments. The post players leading the MS player, grabbing both sides. Seems like it. Seems like it. And then he's just going to get them off the point. All right. Okay, so actually a really good call there from Wong. So that wasn't like two actions. Wong meditated, get some power, then moved up triggered the traps, took some damage, gained three more power. So that's one sitting on five. Oh, and he handed power off with Faithful Assistant as well. I'm assuming to Beta Ray Bill. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. He can then heal himself and move back onto the point. Yeah, yeah. Green Goblin, double moving up, getting into the thick of it, right where he wants to be, where he can... Knight of the Goblin. 
I want to call every one of the explosion abilities tricks and traps. Uh, it's not the case. <laughs> not the case. <laughs> what is it then? Trick or treat. Ah, oh, gee, there's just tricks and traps. Trick or treat. How is a man <laughs> supposed to keep this all straight? Right. That's why we have Taylor here on comms, so uh, we can know what the heck is going on with Spider Foe's words. Very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be tricksy. You know, to be fair, if you're a if you're a, a Spider Foe's player, you might think of a moment like this that's very important to be able to get into the Invitational that like this might be your recital like you could probably consider this to be pretty vital because if you want to rock around and ride on time it's tricky tricky oh here we go you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> we are going to need some more people to feed in for Taylor here now that he can hear all the things I'm saying I don't yeah. know what his patience is actually going to be like <laughs> It was a cool lotta. Thank you for the... Or it was cool lotta. But anyway, cool lotta. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> tell Taylor is Mysterio... Oh, tell Taylor. This is from DB, Nick. Tell Taylor his Mysterio is an awesome painted piece. Taylor's Mysterio is really, really on another level. Ten hours, he just said. Wow. Is Mysterio tricks and traps? Yes. So we are... Tim is dyslexic, mostly between characters and their abilities. <laughs> it looks like we have a Beta Ray Bill moving up. Okay. <laughs> Stop! I'm getting more confused. Mysterious tricks and traps. Right, chat was talking about Mysterious tricks and traps. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, I get it. Yeah, come on. It's it's real simple. Here. I mean, I don't. I, don't. Like, I won't remember it, but like, <laughs> we can pretend. I can't commit it to memory. <laughs> Taylor was right. Ooh, we got that recorded. Taylor was right. He just yelled in my ear about it. So that is an awesome Arnim Zola t-shirt. Taylor Holy is a cow. It's just a purple shirt with Arnim Zola's face in the middle. That's so cool. Taylor was uh, very upset. Um, Double move on who? Taylor was very upset um, that I have already become a producer and now a king. Uh, and he is still an intern. Uh, and I just told him, keep... You know, keep reaching for it, kid. You'll get there. Uh, <laughs> so that was a build up. We're moving up to the center. And then we have a rhino moving on up. And we are getting a gore onto Beta Ray Bill. A gore that doesn't pierce. Should we three? Bill's blocking two. He could reduce to nothing. And Spider 4 reroll. So now he is automatically going to be taking at least some damage. Yep. So one going through here looks like two. He's not going to pay to reduce. Okay. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. BRB has not been on every stream. Uh, we saw him in matches one and two. Didn't see him in the last two, and he made a return here. So we've seen four BRBs. He is the character we've seen the most today. Um, to reduce to one on Big Ray Bill. And I think Rhino actually might be We've seen second. <laughs> That's probably accurate. Because Lizard know. is up there. We've seen a couple lizards. Yep. I've got two rhinos. I don't. My list for round one was not complete, but um, but yeah, BRB is who we have seen the most. So that is Rhino activated. Going back over to the Midnight Suns, we have a Ghost Rider activation. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since we've seen Basic Ghost Rider, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing with uh, the Cosmic Ghost Riders. Listen, we had a Humans player on, no Cosmic Ghost Rider. We had a Guardians player, no Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yeah. So who's this into whom? Chains Okay, so we have Chains into Goblin showing two hits... One block. I mean, only taking one here, and Goblin's got to be not mad about that, that's for sure. Goblin at one. All right. And Goblin at one damage taken. <laughs> right? All right, and then we're looking at a Midnight Sun's Hop back, probably. And there's the bump. 
So Midnight Suns affiliation abilities, which seems we haven't seen it a whole ton, is once per round, any Midnight Suns member can pay one power to move themselves within range one of themselves. Call it Bump in the Night. Oh, Tukarenti, thank you for the sub, man. We really appreciate that. Couldn't do this type of thing without you guys. So this is actually a great question, Richie. This is not an uncommonly quest or asked question. Mm -hmm. Big differences between these two. Hero clicks comes pre-painted and in boosters. You do not know what you're going to get. MCP, you do hobby. You put it together, you assemble it, you paint it. When you buy a box, you know what you're getting in it. This is more constructed versus chase. There is no chase in MCP. And Hero Clicks has the stats on the actual model, right? Versus yeah. uh, this, has, you've got the cards that have your stats and your abilities on there. Um, the scenarios mix up literally every game. Tactics cards affect the game drastically, so it's really Hero Clicks with multiple other layers. Was that Mar was is that Marcus on Twitch that subscribed? I don't know if it is. All right, at the end of round one, we are going to be three to three. So well, I don't, I never played Hero Clicks. That's the problem. Mm. Mm. So I played Mage Knight, which was similar. Very, uh, very yeah. similar. So, uh, so that is going to have priority over to the Midnight Suns now as they are running five against six. No dazes in the first round, but a decent amount of damage though. But there wasn't really like. Three incinerates. Hero clicks isn't going to have any problems. Rhino, Mysterio, and Goblin all getting incinerated from the demons downtown. And all the Midnight Suns on there, Beta Ray Bill, Dr. Voodoo, and Ghost Rider all being immune to it. Mage, Mage Knight was the first uh, miniatures game that I ever played, yeah. I, I think it was in middle school. Um, But Mage Knight, they just they just had more like basic attacks. There was no like cards or anything. They just kind of attacked each other. This one, you've got specific powers building up uh, to bigger attacks. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a resource management in this that's not in Hero Flix, yeah. um, which I loved Hero Flix. I thought it was a great game. I really enjoyed it. But this is kind of a, the next evolution of that style of gameplay. Um, a lot more going on there. Yeah, and with yeah, I remember with Mage Knight, like you could have like a bad version of the same model. Uh, yeah, and so that was, you know, difficult to difficult to deal with, especially so, when you're a middle schooler and you fall for the booster packs. So we are starting with a uh, Voodoo Bump. He is going to Spirit Venom into Rhino. Looks like a great shot here. Three going through, two after the Rhino Hide. Rhino Hide protects your brain against Spirit Venom. Neil, I'm, I'm glad you engaged. It's always great to see you in person. And that is. You know, wish I could say what that's like. It's been a minute. I forgot what it even looks like. Yeah, you know. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and no aggressive on the Rhino there. If I save up 2k points, we both take off your glasses. That's what it's there for. That as well. And then we'll be on even footing on knowing what's going on in the game. <laughs> well, which is, once again, a great reason why my ear hurts from having this thing in it all day so I can yeah. hear Taylor. Because if we get blinded, listen, he's going to keep us informed. That is yep. our eyes in the sky, Taylor. There we go. Thank you so much, Taylor. Taylor can't even take his glasses. And there, yep, and here is Tiz on demand. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who could have guessed that? wonder how long this is going to go on. Fantastic. All right, I can't so read chat anymore, though, Tiz, so you did that. All right, Spirit minutes. Venom again. Looks like we're showing two with a crit. Rhino blocking one. I believe you. I believe whatever you say. Thankfully, I'm nearsighted, so nope. it's not too bad. All right, just two with one block, so one going through on Rhino on the second Spirit Venom. I cannot read the dice. It is, in fact, very difficult. Yeah. I can't read chat. Stream's dead. Thanks, Tiz. Oof. Now, it's really not bad for I know there, but 
being incinerated with only one mystical defense. Yep. Um, I, I'm sure Rhino is heavily relieved. Yep. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Smash. Smash. Smash on Rhino? Smash. Are we smashing? Never okay. mind. Nope, we're not smashing. So what Smash does is you destroy a piece of terrain within range two of you. They, you then add the amount of dice equal to the size of that terrain to all of your attacks for the round. Okay. It's dope. I You, you know I love destroying terrain. I know I am, and, and then throw, throwing it at people is preferred, but smashing it and then rolling more dice, I like that too. So I'm so gonna, excited in five minutes to read these chat messages. So we are going to stampede here. This is going to give Rhino a medium movement. If he crosses through any size 2 terrain or less, he just breaks it and keeps going. This is not an action. This costs two, three power, I believe. And it will also increase the dice on his next gore by two, by three. And now you're going to smash that ring at that size three. Gore, which does not have pierce. That's what I learned today. So how many dice is he rolling here? 10? 11? Keep going. Put an, and then I get this one. He's explaining it. He's Ten dice. Ten dice. All right. Between Stampede and Smash. I'm so excited to not be able to read them. So this is going into Dr. Voodoo here. It's a lot of dice to read. That's a lot of skulls. Though. Two, yeah. four, with a crit. They all look like a, I can read the blanks. <laughs> Converts both of them. Voodoo blocking two. Showing seven, five go through on Dr. Voodoo. Wow. Well, and we... re-rolling the spider foe ability here. And, uh, yeah, I, that's definitely, okay. This is what we've been seeing all day. A big roll early. Um, He's alive at one. Has really kind of set the tone. But what we have been seeing with those big rolls is that the person with the, who gets the big roll early kind of peters out for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the game. So we'll see if uh, that trend continues. So I mean, that, first off, with this particular setup, that puts Rhino in a great spot. He just did five damage to Doctor Voodoo, leaving Voodoo on one. It gained five power. Rhino only has one attack, and it's a builder. So he has a throw still. He has this is a robbery still. Having no glasses and their names being Joe and John. Is also fantastic. So he is Love using that. this as a robbery here, which is going to allow him to pick up someone holding an objective and hurl them. All right. So he is going to throw Dr. Voodoo, do that last damage automatically, unless he wants to waste a brace on this. Mm -hmm. Throwing him back into a light post. Does he brace? He is going to take it. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well... Joe is in a great spot here. Yeah. Now pick up that alien. I don't know. And he does. Yeah. What are you saving brace for? I don't know. So there's still a there's two size four pieces on the board still. Mm -hmm. So that was all one action. Yeah. So it's like you know if he if he survives the round he's already gone he's not going to do anything else like I got gotcha. you. You might as well then come back next time with a bunch of power. Okay. It's a hard call. Eight dice into, looks like kind of a whiff, showing three. Has it been five minutes yet? Probably. Ah, there we are. <sighs> yeah, get ready for that. Full metal with another redeem redemption for move the glasses. Okay, so that was at 8.48. All right. 8.48. My phone says 6.34. I don't know what happened. Okay. So Ghost Rider being able to feed back there a little bit into Rhino dealing with the damage. And now we're throwing the size 4 building into Beta Ray Bill. Because that first throw was up, and this is a robbery. Seeing how much he can get done here, he might brace here. And he braces. That is why you save that brace. All right. There we go. See? 
That is a lot of terrain off the board. Yeah. Right now. He's the best. Rhino is a very good Brotherhood player. I'm I'm so excited that I didn't get to see it at all, and it just fuzzily happened near me. How much damage does Rhino have on him? Four. So not, not quite close to killing himself because of the crits, but certainly wasn't helping. Certainly wasn't helping. Yeah, so, so it's only one extra one on there. He is on five wounds. Or four, yeah, 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 yeah. The other thing is an incinerate token. What's going on? So it looks like we are getting, uh, getting, uh, getting some updates here on some of the other events uh, going on here, so we can communicate those to you guys. Uh, and let you know all the uh, all the MCP stuff going on today. Uh, like we said, this last this last chance qualifier is what we have been showing, but there have been scrambles uh, and affiliation battles that have been happening uh, throughout the hall today. Uh, there'll be a lot of events uh, tomorrow as well, in addition to the 64 person invitational. All right, so oops, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just uh, talking about what you that you were getting some uh, information on some other events and uh, kind of what's going on tomorrow. Yes. So um, what's the attack going on right now, Taylor? So we have first chains into Rhino, and then the second chain stays. Okay, so two chains into Rhino does in fact take them down. Uh, Lexa White just stopped by from the Morlocks podcast. She's mm -hmm. been hosting the side events here at LVO. Yep. Uh, we got the result for the top three uh, undefeated for the affiliation of that. We have two shield and one guardians. Mm -hmm. Mike Diambos, uh is the Guardians player, and then I was expecting to hear Kirkhoff's name for those two Shield players, but it does look like it's some newcomers, uh, at least to uh, our information, uh, Ron and Phil. Wow. Um, and then there was, this is, makes me warm to the cockles of my heart, a three-in-one Sentinels player. Wow. Okay. I Yeah, we did not see Shield uh, here, and I there... Um, I, I've got a feeling they're going to be uh, they're going to be well, well represented tomorrow. Uh, I, I, I think they are one of the uh, one of the better affiliations right now. They've really kind of been trending upward uh, in the last part of this year. So uh, surprised we didn't see them, but I think we will be seeing them. Uh, and I I would not be surprised if we see a good amount of them on Sunday. We certainly will. A winner of LBO last year kind of brought in this new Shield meta. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of the big Shield players have already been qualified. So what's this? Taylor seems amazed at something. Something's happening. What is what is amazing you, Taylor? A, a judge just when a judge just wanders over yeah. to see it. That's always. Yep. What? So what happened? That's storm. That's storm. Yeah. So, so uh, the the bump letting Ghost Rider get back into that back line there. Every character can do it every turn as long as they're willing to spend okay. for it. Unlike the storm hop, which is once per round. Oh, we had a. Someone, someone tried to roll on the actual mat. Craven into Bill here. Looks like one. One. Uh, Bill blocks. One's a wild. I can read one of the wilds on the right. Right? Hey, we have 10 seconds left. Nothing. All nothing. Four. I don't know why we're putting these on. Two. Just one. Yeah, they're going to go right back up. Right back up. Expert tracker. Wow, there is a lot of terrain missing. Onto Bill. So I believe this gives everyone that targets Bill this round an additional die against attacking him. Yeah, and then, but we we're not seeing the CGR that we thought. So it's interesting. It's an interesting dynamic there that we're not seeing shield or CGR. Uh, at least in this last chance qualifier. Two, four. Who's this attack into? Cooper Strike in the bill. I mean, if you can pull that off to get the two attacks, get all the extra dice and expert tracker. Unfortunately, a pretty somewhat low roll, but also oh. four blocks. Oh. So that's going to have three wow. going through after uh, Horseman Cybernetics. Okay. Stellar. A three threat going into a bill. Well done. Big fan of Craven here. 
I've been craving some fearful symmetry. <laughs> yeah, Shield of the CGR isn't super stellar, to be fair. And hmm. a stretch. Thanks, huh? I saw the two come up and I was like, oh, oh, oh yeah. even Taylor getting into it with the stretch. <sighs> All right, chest day. I think we. Didn't see that as it came through, but thank you, Chess Day. No sped B for the fall. I'm just here at the sideline, making sure everything goes smooth and silky, satiny, velour. Velour. <laughs> All right, Wong heals Bill and himself. Wong had three damage on him, I believe, so that should put him to one left. And that brings Ghost Rider down to what looks like full. And then Wong bumps back onto the back demons. Wong's a stellar feller. A power battery, a heal bot, and for whatever reason, whenever I see him punch a Ghost Rider, he knocks him out. Pumpkin bombs in the bill here. One, two, three. There's the wild he wanted. Ooh, but oh. Bill's like, eh, I'm just gonna roll three crits. So that's cool. And he's immune to incinerate. Even with the goblin reroll. Wow. Oof. Wow. Oof. This is what we talked about. You get one big roll, and then it just seems to, it just seems to completely, you get the one big one. That's what you get. That's what, what you, you got. got. And then you gotta move, you gotta figure it out from there because you're not going to get much help what's that yeah got i mean listen that kind of like makes him no longer as guardian which is nice throwing poison on the bill because it's the only one that he's not immune to all right here we go showing four okay bill blocking only one so far you could nice force it down to two and two will go through all right and he's double poisoned. Twisted sister? Tim, Bill is immune to poison. Is what Deviant Nick says, Taylor. Bill? Bill's not immune to poison? Oh. Nick, you trying to trick me. What a trickster. What a what a what a tricky Nick. Bleed incinerate poison is what Nick's saying. Bleed incinerate poison, yeah. Yep, definitely immune to poison. Yep. Would he have wanted to apply? Yep, sure is. <laughs> Sucks this up. How helpful. <laughs> There it is. I would never trick you, Tim. Bloomdy, thank you for the follow. Seeing you here and there. Welcome. But yeah, so ignore all the stuff I said about you know getting rid of Asgard and also yeah. being able to be poisoned. And yeah. Just Ooh. a lot of dice going into. There are blanks. That's. A, weak, a little weak on both sides, looks like. Bill into Goblin showing two. Goblin blocking nothing. Does that take a down? Yeah, it feels good, not great. Oh, he's just making change. He's a robot man. He's not a robot man. He's a robot horse man. <laughs> of course he's immune to poison. You're, yeah, you're not wrong. Joining the likes of Ultron. Never even heard Vision. of horse poison. Cable. It's mostly metal, I guess. A horsey with no name. That's me, Beta Horse Bill. So, has he been through the Las Vegas desert on a horsey with no name? Oh, he very well might have been. Mm -hmm. Very well might have been. The inhumans are immune. Right, because what's inhuman? Robots. All of the inhumans are immune to poison for that reason. Thanks. They're all robots that live on the blue side of the moon. Mm. There's a lot more <laughs> facts in that sentence than you might be thinking. Yeah. 
Only one part of that sentence was not was not a fact. And we're not going to tell you which one. Ooh. <laughs> Write in on a postcard to P.O. Box G, <laughs> West Oneana, New York, 13861, if you want to tell us what part of that was real. Or feel free to text the network at 603-803-3235. <laughs> His species doesn't have horse heads. The cybernetic implants made him look like them. I'm sorry for this cursed knowledge. Actually, I don't think Dan's here. So I'm going to lock that one into my brain hole so I can keep that for later so I can correct him on it. Yeah, He's yeah. not a horse, man. This is cybernetic implants. Bloomdale, thank you for that. It makes you really love deep wow. cut lore knowledge. We're all, we're all excited to really stick it to Dan, so anytime we can do that. <laughs> yeah. So Beta Ray is going to pick up a goblin and apply him directly to a bullseye. No. Oh. That does not sound comfortable. And they're going to double brace there, burning the brace for the spider pose. Mm -hmm. But protecting both Bullseye and Green Goblin. And taking a little bit of damage. His DNA was also fused with the Apex Predators of the Swirl. Drid. That's dope. <laughs> and that's why he's so good. He's a predator. Predator. So by the way, if you were looking to see how some of the other players are doing, that Longshanks is pinned in the chat here. We are looking at uh, all, but I believe it was all but one of our four and one players are likely in mm -hmm. for tomorrow's Invitational. So uh, we are we want to keep our eyes on all these three and one matchups. Um, I did just see that. I swapped over to the Longshanks, and it looks like Nate Horn uh, from Juicy L's Juicy Pals and Alfredo Sicey Chocolate Truck uh, has gone 5-0. and Congratulations wow. to Nate. We saw him just a couple games ago. Yeah. So he will be uh, piloting it tomorrow. One, one thing uh, about that. So Nate, um, obviously, he brought something, went 5-0 and with it. Do you think, is that is that what you're going with tomorrow? You're just going to keep rolling? Or do you have something in your back pocket where you're like, you know, this is what I think might be better at the invitation. So that is a great question that I asked Nate Horn in our interview after his match. And he yeah. said, you know what? I have been working on this X-Men for Absolutely. a long time. It has the counters it needs to counter. And yeah. he's the one with it. That Absolutely. Rhino in X-Men was a great call. Absolutely. I, you know, I think when you're... As we said, you could have went four and one in this tournament and not made it. So I think everyone here is probably going with what they feel is the strongest thing. So I wouldn't expect anybody in this in this last chance qualifier to really make big changes, um, especially if they did. You know, if you went four and one, five and zero, oh, you got to feel good about what you brought. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so. Well, they were talking about it's about the reps. It's about having the familiarity when you swap things in and out and you lose some of the utility or the tools that you're used to having at your disposal. Exactly. Um, and Nate, as the top-rated X-Men player, I mean, certainly no slouch. Absolutely, yep. Okay, because I don't think you can never miss if it's reduced to zero. So he is going to parting shot. Wait, you mean I never miss? Because can you do that? Because you do the attacker's react stuff before the defenders. The defender would reduce it down to zero. So I don't know if there's a trigger opportunity there. I'm actually super curious about that because we've never seen that before. Is that the case? That's our timing. I don't know. Resolve after damage effects. Resolve after damage effects. I don't know what the answer to that one is. Uh, after damage happens before... After damage happens and then after attack effects happen. Uh, so I think he's attacking again here. I don't think we could yell for a judge, though. Okay, so a pass from the Midnight Suns, and we are going to Blizzard now on the spider pose. If anyone knows that in chat, though, let me know. If it gets reduced down by, like, a nice punch or something, isn't that after the attack is resolved as well? Going second as the defender? Not giving an opportunity for the attacker to apply?
All right, so that will be a dazed bill from one Mr. Pigeonius Lizard. Also, the reason why he's called Beta Ray Bill is because his evil counterpart is Alpha Ray. Bill's backstory gets progressively dumber each time. Oh, I was really hoping that was going to say darker and not dumber. So, uh, yeah, he's a beta. He is. And that but, makes sense, though, why Beta Ray Bill can pick up Neil near that. That's uh, how Stormbreaker initially came into the Marvel Universe. He's, he's certainly alphaing up uh, in this tournament. Yes, he is. Yeah, the fact that we built like a like a a curve, like a test curve in those first two games, having four beta ray builds in those first two matches. All right, Blade and Mysterio left. Looks like Blade's gonna go. Moving up medium. Looks like we're getting a double move. And then a bump, potentially, onto the center point. And, yep, making some change. Spending one on the bump. So effectively, that throw last round prevented Blade from attacking this round. Spending a couple power to prevent a full action and making your opponent double move to get where they need to go, not a bad call. Looks like uh, unaffiliated with us, but Filthy Casual uh, is also 4-1 here uh, with a win okay. in that last round. Looks like he beat Roger. Uh, who was our... Uh, Roger 3-2. Yep. Roger was uh, one of our three O's, and uh, looks like he uh, he fell out on those last two rounds. Always tough um, to start so strong and, and, and have that happen at the end there. But no Saskatchewan to Blade. So this has to be damaged to be able to move Blade. Blade has four Mystic. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't fire. Break even there to attack two defense. but he can, in fact, re-roll one of his defense dice. Hmm. So another attack timing question here. Both of these um, affiliations are usually pretty reliant on that. So step eight is modify your opponent's dice. By the way, if you look at the attack sequence guide on the back of the MCP rulebook, step 11 is resolving effects before damage. Step 14 is, resol is resolving effects after the attack. This means you could reduce to damage, then do I never miss. Okay, great. I really appreciate that, Lindy. I was very curious about that. Oh, he spent to... Uh, gotcha. Okay, well, there you go. So, uh, Spider Foe reroll, turning a block into a hit, and then spending on Blade's uh, rerolls did not get it done. So, one damage did go through onto Blade, so Mysterio can move him short, advance him short. Got a, got a lot going on there in the center. That is the end of the round. So I think that's Midnight Sun's six to Spider Foe's five. Going mm -hmm. into round three. Now we're really getting we're getting a close. We were talking about we had some that were kind of faking like they were close. This one uh, is actually is actually close. very close. So. And again, this is for a spot in the Invitational. Uh, once you, uh, you know, a loss here, you're definitely out. A win, you're almost certainly in, because uh, we've looked at the tiebreakers. So right now, neither has really pulled away. It's going to come down to probably a couple of, of late decisions here. Uh, we do notice here that Joe... Uh, is it about 10 minutes less on his clock? So 
So that is something that might come into play here. Uh, since we are kind of looking at, I don't think we've made it to a round five yet today. Um, in I, any of our matchups, I think round four is the furthest we've gotten. I do think round four is normally where it ends up ending. So, um, this one's kind of looking a little closer than that. Um, so the time might become a factor, um, but we will see. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Oh yeah, very much could. That's actually a great call. So John having 32 minutes left in his clock. John, or I'm sorry, John having 32 minutes yep. left in his clock. Joe having 23. Gotcha. So the the uh, alien power core is dealing two damage to Wong and Ghost Rider. And nothing from Green Gala. All right. Wow. The Grand Illusion would be great, huh? Oops, no crits. I wonder how accurate that. I wonder if. I wonder if uh, Nate really did win 18 to 2. Or if uh, Brendan just kind of was like, you know what, I think I'm in. And I think I'm hungry. <laughs> because 18 to 2 is quite a. <laughs> It is. Uh, so it would depend on what they were running and stuff like that. But, like, I will say we don't see a lot of that type of thing. Yeah. Um, as far as, like, I just want to go or whatever. Yeah. But, oh, they played Legacy Virus. Okay. Okay, so Legacy Virus it has a contingent in it. It's three extracts. At the end of your turn, if you're holding one, it removes a special condition. Okay. If any character has all three, they immediately die and you gain six victory points. Got it. So that can be kind of a runway sometimes. So you can start. Okay. Yeah, and on Mad Men, yep. yep. Legacy. I gotcha. Okay. Certainly, certainly possible. And he has Rhino. Yep. So, like, Please. effectively, when you pick up the first Legacy Virus, it costs one. When you pick up the second one, it costs two. When you pick up the third, it costs three. To make it a little bit more difficult. Yep. But when Rhino can just take it off someone and hurl it away. Yep. And he has Ultron. Yep. So, okay. Interesting. That is not... Legitimately, that is not a roster I thought was going to excel in Legacy. But when you look at the components that are there, yeah, it certainly yep. can. All right, there we go. And he has missed an objective, I Good think we saw know. in his match. So, like, he would almost, he could have, like, scored huge off of someone killing one of his own people and then him just alley ooping it yep. to another buddy. <laughs> yes, it is at the end of the turn that they did now. It's not immediately. Yep. So, you do have to make it to the end of the round. Another result in here, uh, Gregory Shat has uh, gone to four and one, winning uh, on a research station demons downtown threat 15. Oh, research and demons at 15. Four. Everyone pile in the middle, get incinerated and get shot. Yeah, 14 to one. So I, I'm guessing that was a dicing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have Ghost Rider Spender into Rhino right now. Pen and Stare, I'm not going to gain any power for this. He also gets additional dice equal to the power on Rhino. Oh, Rhino rolling nothing. Ghost Rider showing two, four, six, seven. All of it goes through minus one for Rhino Hide, six, and that is a Rhino that uh, if you had to put it into words, Richie, um, the words that one would use to say what just happened to Rhino. I actually use two letters. Oh, I think two letters would be the way to go. What are they? Um, there they are. Yep, there they are. K.O. <laughs> he exploded. That's what Penn and Stairs for, man. And Rhino is extinct. That's That's a big move. Now he's just going to change in the balls. It looks like that's rough for foes. Yes, it is. Chains looking good there. Two crits, a wild and hit. Bullseye putting up a good fight though. He's showing five, blocking two. He's taking three. And parting shot. Nothing gets Ghost Rider back than a paper clip in the eye socket.
Well, you never know what happens with those. So Wong keeping people up and alive is very good, especially on power core where you could be taking a decent amount of damage. That party shot happens. Bullseye goes away. So yeah, so effectively during the power core, during the cleanup phase with power core, you could take up to for a lot. Wow, for each skull and wild and result, the character holding the power core and all characters. Right, but you can have other allies also rolling that because it does damage to everyone around you as well. Yep. You I'm could take a lot too. from that. Yeah, Ghost Rider and Wong holding those could, I mean, you could see a one shot at Wong. Yeah. Some two power cores going off, if you count that as one shot. No shots were actually fired. I would have activated Bill, throw that big boy so fast, probably would have bit me. <laughs> 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 All right, we have a spear thrust into blade here. Wow, showing four. Blade blocking two. Craven's actually been doing some pretty solid damage here. Spending to reroll picks up one more. One is still going to go through. On to Blade and Ragers. And he didn't move for that, I don't believe, so now he's going to get an incredibly solid follow-up attack. Will he Expert Tracker first? No Expert Tracker, just going for the extra dice here on the Cookie Strike. Let's go. Uh, ooh. One, two, he does have Eclipse or Reroll on the blank. Eclipse Eliminate if he wants to use that. Rerolling the Spider Foes, does ooh. roll into a stall. Does he use his own reroll? Or is he going to forget it? it? Looks like he forgets it, but it's four. Two go through. Oh, he goes down. He doesn't even need it. Calypso Lemonade, a sponsor of Craven the Hunter. <laughs> he did take a potion of the Calypso, which has given him supernatural hunting senses. That is exactly how I feel when I have one of those, yeah. Especially that blue one. Yeah, that's... I've heard that's one of the better flavors uh, on your is. palate. It always is. <laughs> you gotta unlock the flavor of blue. Mm -hmm. That's what I always say. Blues can do, and we can too. <laughs> and Craven's gonna grab the core off it as well. Mm -hmm. From Days in the Blade. It's more a reminder for the people on interviews. All right, we're going to summon a storm into the goblin. Goblin will fly. He is going to get rerolls off of this. Also, adding green goblin size to the dice roll. That is the other one. And we have uh, Carl um, picked up the win. So, what does that put Carl at? Uh, Carl. Huh? Carl. Yeah, what does it put Carl at? Uh, four and one. All right. So he is, uh, he was our, uh, he was our, our round three. He was three and oh. Yeah. After that one, yep. He was on stream and he is at four and one. So it looks like, uh, looking at these tiebreakers here, that he is going to make it. Wow. So rolling that back, that is one, two, three. Ooh. Four, five wilds, two crits, and a hit. That was uh, wild. Huh. So if you were just... Five who was that him to? That was into Green Goblin? Oh, poor Goblin. Ah. Nothing's Norman about that. He's dead, Jim. This is one letter off of normal. Norman. Okay. <laughs> God Hunter does do that. That's right. Yeah, thank you. So Carl is looking good. Yeah. That's Starting. cool. The Carl of Carl Khan himself. Starting to, uh, it's all kind of starting to fill out. Carl's got real good tiebreakers, so. Uh, yeah. I would say he is in. All right. Bill's going to bump behind Ghost Rider, and that is going to be it. Right now, Filthy Casual is our uh, 
our lowest ranked four and one. So he is the one that would lose out on the tiebreaker. But we've got a lot of three and one matchups to go. So we'll keep an eye on that. But Carl, very comfortably in, it looks like. Yeah. Kim. Oh, you are the slushiest. Thank you so much for the follow. Any surprise successes of the day so far? Yeah, we've seen a bunch of great stuff out there today. Uh, over five rounds, we have not had a repeat affiliation on stream once. Great variety of affiliations out there. We've seen the humans go 3-0. and I don't know where the humans player is now, but... Lots of lots of thriving today on the LCQ. Eric uh, from round one, Asgard, he's one of the three and ones. Uh, Clocks right now are 32 John. Are the clocks moving, Taylor? Yeah, they're like def they definitely are not. Good catch, Nick. All right. So that's... Okay. <laughs> All right, you're going to throw Ghost Rider into Wong? Yeah, the classic 3 out of 2 yep. Wong is dazed. Yeah, so it looks like they might have paused those and those were not running. So a cold blooded into Ghost Rider here. Doesn't look great, but I'm not seeing a great deep. Oh no, three on the defense, three on the hit. Looks like there we go. That's. That's for you in chat. Uh, yeah, I saw oh, just take two? Oh. Oh, the one is slightly, uh, we couldn't really, there was some shine on it. What was that, Richie? The, the chat chat is uh, doing your work for you here. You might say he was at all the long paces at all the long time. Oh, gosh. How have I missed so many Wong puns? Ouch. That's just Wong. <laughs> I was thinking about DBA Nick's uh, mention there about uh, Wong healing two people each turn, getting some extra pot. Would get, just yeah, Wong's been an issue. <laughs> uh, looks like Brendan Arthur has also uh, moved into our. Oh no, never mind. Sorry, he was the one who lost to Nate. Thought we had a new four and one. I oh, know we do. Jonah from Ligma Protocol. Oh, the old uh, Ligma. Took, uh, took Guardians to four and one. Uh, is looking looking good on the tiebreakers there. Nice, nice, nice. Miss Witty Dunwiss. Thank you for the follow. What a lady. Sorry for what? Yeah, easy. We have not seen. We've been seeing a lot of uh, big pumping points games, and this one, this one's really been a grind. <laughs> Four CGR at four and one. That is the case. Are we going to see an influx of new CGRs into the Invitational mm -hmm. after the heavy performance in the LCK? We did manage to avoid them on stream, though. So, who moved up? A voodoo. Blue's going to move up and take a core. It was on the ground, just like waiting for it almost. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Guardians. Prescription sighting. I know that's supposed to be exciting, but prescription sighting is better. Spear Venom into Bullseye. Can the man, the myth, the eye of Bulls take this? Uh-oh. Oh, he really... Oh. Mm. All right, so he's going to take two there. That dazes him. 
He had one left. So even if he did block both, but still, good on Bullseye for putting up a good fight. Having one defense die rolling the crit and keeping it alive a little yep. bit. That's why he's my favorite character. <laughs> Best two in the game. Yeah. I don't know. Wong's been doing a lot. Deleting people's attacks by healing constantly. Yep. <laughs> Was there a toad in this game? No, in this oh, game. No. No. <laughs> there was a rhino at one point. There was a rhino at one point. A rhino to be gone in round three, by the way. It's kind of crazy. Foof. Foof, foof, foof. Really, yeah. Uh, I, I feel very confident in Midnight Suns with a rhino gone that early. In curtain call. Is he close enough? It's only range two. Checking. He is. All right. All right. Here we go. Curtain we go. call time. Curtain Stagger that call. boy. Whoa. Ooh, that's a lot Whoa. Of wow. Wow. It's three blocks. Four against three with the goblin reroll, converting it into a hit instead. So he's only blocking two, two. now. He is going to take two from it. Okay. And did I hear a fall back? Okay, so before he dazes, he is in fact going to fall back. He's gonna, because he's holding a marker. You can do that before you daze? That's cool. Fall back. Before damage is dealt, it may spend two. Yeah, yep. it totally can. So that gets the marker further away from him when he drops it. So great move there. Great time to fall back. Yep. Mysterio taking down a Ghost Rider wow. with a curtain call. Right. Nice. This is the <laughs> best model in the game. Yeah. Darn poachers. Austin Lambkin has joined us in the four and ones. He's playing A Force, but the A is for Austin. But the A is for Austin. He, I don't think he's on that team, but his name is Austin. So I, he doesn't need to live in Austin to be on that team, I think. All right. So that is a huge catch up round for Joe, oh, leaving it seven to seven. S seven to seven. There we go. Going into round four. This is the finals match, guys. Right? This is yep. uh, this is it. Yes, we got us. We got ourselves a good matchup. Shout out to the producer for finding this talent. Oh, he's not listening. What? I said, shout out to the, the producer for finding this and getting it on at the end of the day. Yeah, thank gosh, Omnis Protocol was here. <laughs> <laughs> Todd Ensley with his Avengers is at four and one as well. All right, so we're rolling for some power cores here. Everyone is fine. No wilds or skulls. All right, I think we're going to see a, a very early goblin activation here. So this is one of four uh, three-in-one matchups still going. That's right. Uh, right now. Okay. Well, and, and the four-no matchup is still going as well. So Ghost Rider is also at max power. Two pennant stairs in one round. Uh, kind of terrifying. Mike, Mike Lit, stay lit, buddy. Thank you for the follow. Voodoo is also at max power. So if I understand correctly, only the lowest four and one won't get through. Is that correct? Sorry, one more time. Uh, only mean? the lowest four and one won't get through. <laughs> that, is, that seems to be the case. I believe so, yeah. Based on what we're looking at. All right, Midnight Sun's about to pop off here. Siege of Darkness. For every character, for every character oh. that plays that pays two power, as long as they are Midnight Suns affiliated, they get a free zero cost attack right now. No, I think actually, I'm looking at it here. I think a few foreign ones aren't going to get in. I think we might have under. I think I think we might have forgot to count the uh, the five and O's uh, in that because it looks like there's a few foreign ones. The cutoff is going to be either tenth or eleventh is going to be the cutoff. So looks like 
two damage going through on Bullseye from a Spear Venom. All three going through on Bullseye from a Spear Venom. And he got the throw trigger. Guess what, Bullseye? Sorry, man. I think you're only four health on this side. That sucks. You gonna throw him in the goblin? The collision is going to, uh, unfortunately, in fact, Bullseye. Oh, bullseye. Mm -hmm. Goblin takes two from an enemy, from a, a friendly Bullseye flying into him. And that was only attack number one of the siege. We still have Blade, Wong, and Ghost Rider left. Blade into Craven. Two crits, a wild, and a hit. Oh, two. Three crits on the defense. Wow. Going for five. Oh, Blocking Lord. four. Wow. With a pierce, With a pierce though. Whoa. <laughs> he gets the fist bump. Oops, all crits. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Who? So Craven ended up just taking two there? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wong taking down the lizard. Here we go. Free Wong attack. Slapping him. Whoa! Oh, three. Showing three with a crit. Blocks. Blank, blank. Showing One two crit. with a crit. Two with a crit. Two. Blocking two, taking four. Takes two. Wow. Wow. Wow, Wong, well done. Great showing. Still getting one damage through on Lizard, even through his uh, his Lizard skin, his Lizard hide. I don't, hide. I don't think the clock is going again. And goes right going into Lizard here. I don't think the clock is going again. Can you tell Taylor? Uh, clock? Get the clock going. Yep, showing three crits on the attack. Oh, why did it take a couple more? They're small. Taylor. Clock. I don't think the clock's going. The clock. clock's not going. Yeah, because they definitely have yeah. almost as much time as left in the round. Yeah, so. Lizard will take will take two from that after the Lizard hide. We need to keep an eye on that for the... Especially with a low scoring game like yep. this. It will matter here. Yeah, absolutely. You picked the Wong neighborhood, buddy. <laughs> 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 All right, so Voodoo's actual first action here. He's going to spend her into Goblin, try to take out the king of Goblins. That are green. All right, showing one crit and wild. Ooh, gobble blocking it all. Looks like. He's going to take some power off him with the Staff of Legba, and it will power burn, so it looks like at least one damage will be going through off of the Staff of Legba. From the power burn, and that's it. Okay. Oh, second verse is not going to be different than the first, at least in the name of the attack, but could be a lot different in the dice. And we are seeing two power burn already and a crit. Blocking One, two. two. Yeah, I think that could be a done Norman Osborne. That's a lot. And it is. Power yeah. burn takes him out. Wow. So power burn, for those of you that might not be super familiar with Dr. Voodoo, for every wild he rolls in that spender, he removes a power from his opponent. Assuming that there was power to remove for each of those wilds, he'll take a soul burn for each one of them as well, dealing one automatic damage. You know how much we love automatic damage. Uh, automatic damage is the best thing you can do. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, dead on burn alone. Anytime you don't, anytime uh, you get extra damage out of something, uh, it's just less dice that can betray you. <laughs> All right, so leader for leader here. Craven is going to mark Blade, expertly tracking him. Looks like we have a spear strike first, probably. And we do. Two crits and a wild and a hit. Ooh, but Blade not ready to go down. Blocking two. But Craven, however. Wow. Doing six. six. Six blocking two. 
If it's meant to reroll here. No more leadership. Blade is also. Wow. It's going to reroll first. Wow. Blade takes three. Oh, no more Spider Force reroll. That's what it was. Gotcha. So Blade in quite a bit of hurt here. This Cooper Strike could end him. How much damage actually went through there? Three. Yeah, Cuckoo Strike with a little bit more dice. Here we go. Do you have it in you, Craven? Yeah. It is not looking great. I was asking Craven if he had it in him to do this. Okay, going with the follow up here. Oh, that's a lot of blank. Got a crit. Crit and two. Crit hit two well, he's showing four. That's not bad. Blade's yeah. only blocking one. Gets the All crit, right. doesn't convert. Gets Calypso. Four. Got another. Showing five. Five with one. Four's going through right now. Wow. Oh, Bro. Blade is going to pay for the reroll here. Yep. Five on the mark, currently taking four. Is oh. going to take four, and that is two a Two blanks K. and a skull. Oh. Yikes. No leaders on the board. And then he gets an advance that can put him on the back demons. Leader's gone. No leaders left. All right. It's three so, on three. Wong, yeah. Ghost Rider, and... Oops. Is it not three on four? And Beta Ray. Against three healthy spider folks. Do they not have four? I thought they only lost four. Oh, uh, no, because Blade and... Uh, oh, I thought that Ghost Rider... Uh, I think that Ghost Rider's on the boards. Yeah, he's, he's slightly on the card, so I was like, oh, he has two yeah. characters done. Yeah, you're right, he still has four. Beta Ray Wong, Beta Ray, and Beta Ray. No leaders? This is... Now it's time to grind it out. Uh, Voodoo. <laughs> Voodoo Wong, Ghost Rider, Beta Ray. Uh, this is, this is going to come down to it. This is going to be our... Uh, our longest game for sure. Mm -hmm. Clock's moving. Oh, huh? clock's moving. Okay. It doesn't, it goes by minute until it gets to 20 minutes, which I don't understand. Gotcha. <laughs> it seems like they have the technology. Yeah, I would say so. He's going to step it up. Well, he can't bounce it up anymore because Blade is gone. And let's get some more, let's get some more terrain out of the way here. All right, size three truck. This is four automatic damage going into the lizard. Oh, blocking nothing. One. Nope, not a crit. That's lizard good. skin is going to reduce it to three, but oof. And that he is going to daze lizard. Okay. All right, we're definitely going to be getting some quick rounds now. Beta Ray is still a big threat. Yeah, this one. What a grind. You got to earn it. Yep. You got to earn this last round. We've got... I'm enjoying how much terrain is gone from... Uh, we've pretty much just got a clear street here right now. So. Yeah. Yep. All right, he's going to move back and pick up that alien console. I know tomorrow you're going to get a bunch of criminal syndicate just chucking things all over the place, and I'm going to be, that's going to be one of the ones where I'm on the sidelines taking pictures, and I'm going to be real excited about it. <laughs> Showing four on the attack, two on defense. Eric Small from earlier uh, has punched his ticket to four and one. Long takes two. He's looking good at, his tiebreakers are looking good for getting one of those uh, 11... Mm -hmm. spots. Uh, he's currently the second ranked four and one, so he's I think he's about he's about locked. We've got two three and one games and then the four and a four and oh game still to go. Um, for real. So you've got um, you've got some people on the edge here who are looking for uh, looking for the right results. Oh. 
And that was from Mysterio. Mysterio does in fact take down does take down long with the hit. Thank you, Sumsinct, for the follow. What's the last text card left for foes? Patch up. Patch up. They could because they could use a very big patch up right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Top what goes through? I believe, I believe it was 10 or 11. 10 or 11. They're still waiting for some more confirmations and stuff, but it should be 10 or 11. So we've got a couple foreign ones who are look, who are looking like they are out. <laughs> and Mysterio uh, claps that middle demon. So it's all down to Ghost Rider now. Yeah, Beta I believe Ray it's 10 for sure. We're waiting on one last confirmation. And I don't know if we haven't heard, but they might yeah. know. So much can change with strength of schedule. Yeah. Until all the games are in. Yeah, exactly. Um, there are some, obviously some clear people towards the top of the form ones that will be getting in. Yep. Uh, Ghost Rider comes in, moves that long, and we're going to get a Tricks and Traps here. Yeah. From Mysterio, looking for crits and wilds here. If he gets one, he can get a little bit out of dodge. Right now, right now, Nate is the is the one who can say, "I'm five and zero. Oh. I'm I'm playing tomorrow." Yeah. Uh, but listen, that one damage went through. So if he wanted to move Mysterio here, he could. And then Carl and Eric are looking real strong uh, at four and one. So. We will see. I still looking at everything. Um, I'm feeling, yeah, the winner of this is looking real good to be one of the top four and ones. So um, this is a big game. And what a game it is. What a close grind yeah. uh, we are seeing here. The grind is so deep on this one. I think their dentist would... I think potentially that, require. I think that clock needs guarding. to go to the other side. Clock to the other side. Taylor, hit the clock. I think the clock is wrong. Is whose, whose turn is it? I don't think. So he, uh, Joe, needed to hit the clock. Joe needs to hit the clock. I feel like we really gotta pay attention to it on this one. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, for <laughs> real. Wow, he paid the power for Mysterio's defense. This is probably a Mysterio's audit. That's a lot of crits. Yeah, imagine this on. That's uh, a lot of crits. That's a blank. One there. That's that's a lot. Yep. Is that eight? Yeah, imagine the grand illusion on something Seven. like that. Counting four crits is nothing. Five crits is nothing instead of. And there's a Dave's Mysterio. Yeah. Min one, always min one. You always roll a defense dice. Always. Always. Not against the the Black Order, Corvus, and Proxima card where you roll no defense dice against the attack. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yes. Nick. Correct. <laughs> 11 to 9. Sons? I'm keeping a better eye on it. Yeah. Or that squirrel girl coming. <laughs> yes. Unpa one the unpause the clock if it's paused because yeah, is the clock's paused? It's been paused enough <laughs> at this point. Well, we're still doing power phase stuff, so it yeah. would still be paused for this, but was that a spender or a builder into Mysterio, by the way? Well, okay. All right. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Mm -hmm. Check and see how you guys are doing. Very well. Doing great. This has been an incredible match. Yeah. Our best one of the day. We finished on a strong note. The, yeah, this, for real. This is the first time we've seen round five. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> uh, but that was Seth, uh, one of the gents here at Frontline Gaming, mm -hmm. uh, making sure everything's running smoothly. And I will say this is very legitimately our smoothest frontline gaming event so far absolutely well the, adi the addition of a producer to the team really uh kind of smooths everything out i think so we have a cold blooder and in cold blooded into bill here showing three build lock in one 
Cold blooded also stuns and I think stuns and slows, bleeds and slows. Mm -hmm. And he is going to reduce to one damage taken. Yeah, there's no easy target to yep to remove on the midnight sun side. So we might as well go for Bill. So it's just one attack, only one going through on Bill, but it gets a push or a throw or something. Dude, that clock again. Joe needs to hit his clock. Oh, this is the aggressive that's being measured. I was like, is there a throw or something? But that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so from the crit, um, Ghost Rider did in fact spend to have Blizzard take one. Don't crit Ghost Rider's friends. Taylor, Joe needs to hit his clock. <laughs> it's Joe's turn, I think. Is it his turn? I thought... Oh, I thought John was moving. Giving me anxiety. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing? You With eight dice? More too. Oof. Wow. It looks like we're going to throw. For the last part here. Ghost Rider into Bill. Ghost Rider taking one automatic damage. Lizard is kind of the best. Tiki! The Bill block. Uh, looks like he's probably going to take nothing. Yeah. All right, so Bill taking nothing from that. Nothing. Ghost Rider taking just the one. And then stare into Mysterio. He might not have the power to do that and reduce. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no reason to pay for the reduce. That makes sense. Uh, reducing. So you can pay two to have Mysterio. Mysterio counts his Mystic Defense as all of his defense because he's all about illusions and stuff like that. Yep. But you can pay two power to have him use his actual defenses for physical energy, which are one. This is a mystic attack, though, so don't spend. Okay. That'd be a silly Billy move. <laughs> uh, they did say that, though. He's rolling four dice here because Mysterio is incinerated, as is Craven. Yeah, I've taken it upon myself to be the one managing the clock. Yeah. <laughs> We're so well past it at this yeah. point. Like yeah. they'll end 15 minutes after round end, which yeah. is impossible. <laughs> right. So <laughs> that happens. It happens. It's the finals, though. We do want to. Yeah, we want to see a good game, of course. So. Right. But we also, you know, we want to be fair to everybody else who uh, is following that clock and making those decisions a little faster. All right, boot is up. Is he going to go aerial lizard hunting? No, because Craven's right there. <laughs> Craven is the only one I think still on the healthy side. And then the Spear of Venom being a big whiffer here. Craven being like, what Double do you block. mean Venom? I drink Venom on my Double cinnamon block. toast lunch. Are you proud of that? Yes. Okay. Did you have to ask? Yeah, I just wanted you to say it out loud so everybody knew. Okay. Nothing. And that's the voods of the nudes. That was kind of awesome, Tim. Thank you, DVA Nick. Listen. Was that Taylor? <laughs> Who do? The babe. I think. I don't know. I probably did that wrong. The power of the babe. What's he going to try to do to Voodoo? Curtain call onto 
Voodoo. Well, that is a strong defense, but let's see what it does. Spikes is what it does, showing two crits so far. Voodoo blocking zero things. Converts. Does that get him? Five into Voodoo? On one, he gets to throw, though. Oh my god, he used one shot Voodoo. Bonks him into a tree. Voodoo KO. Wow. KO. Wow. Huh. All of a sudden. We are three on three. Mysterio picks up the core. We all know once it gets to three on three, it does convert to a street hoops game. It does. Uh, first one to dunk. Well, <laughs> well, right now it's three on two. Just Ghost Rider and now an injured booty left. And I think that's got to be round, right? Ghost Rider already went. Oh, Craven still is still there. Yeah. Oh, there's Bill as well. Brain. So just Bill and Voodoo. Brain. Brian. Brain. <laughs> Hope you wants, man. Hey. Missing you here at LVO this year, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but Brain is a Brian. We're talking about Brian Watson. <laughs> Just popped up in chat. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Uh, Chains of the Craven. Uh, ooh, ooh, he's getting some ooh, stuff here. Sorry. One, two, three, four. All right, that's a day's craving. Okay. Hey, what's uh? If you had to pick a dried fruit that Craven really enjoyed, what do you think you would choose? Dehydrated apples. Cravesins. Oh, craven, craven, craven. No, that yeah, I get it. Okay. All right, he's going to pick up that core and move back to the middle objective with that. You can see Obi Wan's out of Depicons, right? He certainly can. Cra Cravesins have gotten a little crazy. There's That's like true. pineapple flavored Cravesins now. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's too much. <laughs> so, come on, Craven, get your, get your fruit corporation under control. Bill into One, Lizard. Two. Looks like Lizard will probably survive. Yeah. Two blocks. Two blocks, blocks at all. Doesn't even need that uh, Lizard hide. Kind of wild. We're pointing at dice. Something's mm. happening. We got some kind of... Another status, probably. Stun, yes. Off of the wild uh, for a Beta Race Builder. So Stun makes it stun. so he can only right. gain one power when he's gaining power from any Four effect. more, and you, uh, you win your big chucker. Um, so this is looking a little bit better. He's showing three, blocking one with lizard skin. It's still only going to take one from it. Uh -huh. And who cares about stun when you're only taking one damage at a time? Yeah, exactly. Stun pretty much doesn't do anything when that happens. All right, that's round. All right. All right. 15 to 10. This game is still mm -hmm. anyone's because it is... Everyone's injured. Yeah. They, this could be a tabling. A tabling is is on the table. 15 to 10, though. It's looking Mysterio like... Mysterio takes him. three? Ooh. You know? He's got to get three KOs and three activations. I don't know. Or I think John has this wrapped up. I mean, exactly. after, after Mysterio just rolled three skulls on a power core and takes three damage at the start of the round. No. Uh, huh. Yeah. It's not... Uh... We have a move up. Yeah, if John can get any KO here before that character activates, then it's, a, it's about over. Foes, yeah, foes did put on a show, but Joe's Joe's foes Listen, put who on knows, a show. Who knows what can happen right here? If you put That's snare true. and expert trap around, we've got, we've certainly got a path here. We have a quick strike now, not with all those skulls. You know, we got two, three hits. 
only one block. Three hits, one block. Has he been remembering his reroll? Okay, I don't know. What That's a shame. I don't Joe, man, that could have been pretty monumental there. Yep. Goes right around two. Not the first time, Nick, that we've noticed it, but listen, you can only intervene when it's a must, not a make. Correct. Yep. Unfortunately, we uh, we are just observers, mm-hmm. mere watchers. Some might say yeah. we we do not use our hands to push things in any direction. We encourage people to watch back the streams that they're on, learn what they can from what they see. Yeah, very much so. Always a wonderful tool. Yep, but the threads of fate we we do not. <laughs> We do not mess with the threads of fate. So he's going to take a damage for the wheels. Hope you're where I want it to be because you are going to de- you're going to KO yourself. If you move again. Set up a trap here. I think. There you go. So, Ghost Rider's now kind of stuck there. Okay. After that first move, two actions wasted. Both sides here making some minor mistakes, getting caught in some traps. Yes. But yeah, Ghost Rider moves again. We're here, we're round six of Eight. the last game. It's it's tough. I'm assuming Ghost Rider has a power core, though. For, I mean, for Spider Foes, round six had to go pretty perfect, so. Okay. So to, to win this, or at least he has to, he still has to KO on both. Beta Ray and Ghost Rider are both scoring one from Power Force here. Did they did they roll for their Power Force this turn? Okay. Yeah, I just didn't remember uh, Midnight Sun's roll. Gotcha. All right, so showing one looks like it's fully blocked. Oh, gotcha, on the wild, okay. Okay, trying to spike here. And we've got one more game, uh, one more of the 3-1 games that is uh, drawing a crowd over here. Showing uh, three, black and two. Yep, he's fine. Go for this table game. four. He's gonna go to the next one. So I think... Yeah, I think now we are we are waiting for the end, but we're look, but Midnight Suns is looking. He's just running away. Yep, looks like it's going to be a 17 to potentially 12. Even if he gets that one off of Ghost Rider, it's not going to do it. But that is in fact it. Does look like it? Wow. All right, Midnight Suns to 12. They finishing. Are they playing something else out, or are they? Thirteen. Okay. Yep. They're just counting up. Seventeen to thirteen. Midnight Suns. John Gray. That. So Taylor was just telling both of these folks uh, that was the bloodiest game we've seen today. Yeah, By absolutely. leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. Absolutely. We, I, we never had a potential for a tabling all day, and that one was looking. Yeah. Looking real good. So they both have good tiebreakers. They both have good tiebreakers. We do. We have someone. The last three one did get reported. Let's see what we got for that. Maybe. If it'll work with me. That's fine. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Yeah. All right, so after a very long day, after some uh, some convention fatigue, right, uh, John's voice doesn't quite up to an interview, but we will do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, great game from both players. Um, great day overall Absolutely. here at the Las Vegas Open 2024 Frontline Gaming's premier event, which people have spent time, money, and effort qualifying for all year. 
great day. It is only the start. We have two days left, six more rounds. The Invitational starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. Yes. We will see rosters up tonight, MCT coded in Longshanks. Yep. We will put out that code as soon as we possibly can. Um, but Taylor, yeah. hi. holy cow, man. Yeah. That was the bloodiest game we've seen all day. Right? What a game. <laughs> what? Yeah. That I need was, a beer. <laughs> that, Take three, there's ball. We were, <laughs> we were talking about it. We were seeing games that had the illusion of being close in round two. And yeah. this one, we're in round four and we're within one point. Uh, and then it kind of so, kind of unraveled for Spider-Foes at the end there. But what a game. Yeah. What a game. Uh, can we talk for a second about that um, Siege of Darkness? Absolutely. That yeah. was insane. Yeah. <laughs> if that's a difficult tactics card to hold until yeah, that late yeah. in the game, you want to use it because it's so awesome, right? But and he did great with it. He did. For sure. Oh, Otis and DBA Nick. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Yeah. Hello, hello. Taylor's in. But, um, yeah, J John was actually saying to Joe, he goes, your squad did everything in every turn. Mine, yours, mm -hmm. movements and, and attacks, everything. Like he's like, I couldn't go anywhere without getting hurt. <laughs> and to have it that close for the spider foe player for uh, for Joe to be going in in a matchup with Demons Downtown with half or more than half of his opponent, yeah, immune to incinerate, still put on a hell of a show. Like very close. Yeah, Rob, absolutely. What was it? Round two or three? It was like five to six. Yep. Like, yeah. Come on. Yeah. They yeah. died again. And it was. I'm gonna put a hat on for Tisdale. You're gonna put a hat on for Tisdale. Yeah. yeah. Tisdale's just yelling. He's not rocking these. Uh, You're blind. My baby boy. <laughs> these gray flannels and uh, gray cargo shorts. They don't even check if you cargo. They don't even check. Look, the hat is as bright as my skull. Anyone can do it. <laughs> yeah, no grand illusion on E. I think that was kind of a miss. Yeah. But that would have done real well. Yep. But but as as we go into tomorrow, uh, do we between the three of us, do we have any highlights that we want to sh shout out from today? Uh, Lizard MVP in a spider Pros game. I want to mm -hmm. highlight that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh Hit hit on uh, two of my big chuckers today. Really want to uh, do that. Um, yeah. Really, still very surprised. We did not see. I know. I know. Cosmic Ghost Rider is out there, and I know mm -hmm. he will find his way to the table uh, as, as tomorrow. As Chad's been saying, a lot of four and one. But yeah. You hit your big chuck call of the day. Yeah. That's for sure. There we go. Nailed that one. Um, and yeah, really awesome. How much variety we got today? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. Being real. able to showcase. 10 different affiliations was incredible. Which never uh, happens. Yeah. Never happens. Imagine like any game where, you know, you're going to have 10 different uh, ten different archetypes that are yeah. able to be uh, in contention uh, for for winning the whole thing. So. so with that said, a huge thank you to the TO staff here at 2024. Uh, Charles, Amnus Protocol himself, yep. Danny, Tyson, and Lexa White. Uh, doing a phenomenal job today. Absolutely. Um, really making this a very easy thing for us to stream, making sure we're taken care of. Uh, Seth and Kicker, as far as frontlining uh, gaming as well, making sure that we have everything we need, internet and all and, that. All and that taking stuff. care of not just our table here is one of the 72 uh, or, well, 36 uh, other tables. Yeah. Whenever we heard a judge call, we saw a judge rushing over there real quick. Yep. Um, they were on top of it. Usually so, at the same time. Yeah, they made it an excellent experience for every single person here. So you saw a small taste of it here on the stream, but if you were here at this event, one of the smoothest events I've seen. So great job today, Tactical <laughs> Taylor and producer Richie. Tim, try to bring your A game tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, we'll do our best, uh, but they already the are. A is for Austin. <laughs> the A is for Austin. <laughs> I want, I want to shout out real quick to uh, AMG yeah. for probably, yes. yeah, uh, for changing these characters up so yes. that we can see 10 different affiliations. Absolutely. Correct. Because I, Midnight Suns was good, mm -hmm. but you know what I mean? Now now Blade is even better. Like we saw Defenders was was doing pretty well as well. As far as I'm as far as I understand, we saw a convocation on the table. We did. We didn't see convocation. Not here, but like in oh, the, yeah. in the, uh, in the LCQ. Wild. So we do have, uh, I believe we have, are these full? Are these the full So there's standing? two games that are still yet to be reported. And they are at the bottom. So we might see a little bit of movement. Yes. Um, but I think John is pretty comfortable. I, think I this, do too. I think this top 10 looks comfortable in. Uh, so to go over that right now, we have two 5 and O's. We have Reno so and Nate Horn. They are in. No surprises. Guaranteed. If we're looking at the top 10 that are getting in, we're also going to have Great 130, 
Brian Tierwiggler, or Tierwiggler, uh, who we saw last round here on stream. Great guy. Shout out on his family. It was very nice to see. Uh, Carl Bauman, Jonah, John Gray, Brandon Arthur, Gregory Shep, and Eric Small. And I think there's there's a good gap between uh, Gregory, because uh, it's either 10 or 11. There's a good gap between Gregory in 9th and Austin down here in 11th that I don't know how much movement there's going to be, but there may be some. So there might be, uh, there might be a little bit of uh, movement there, but I think... I think uh, at least the top eight is is safe yeah. uh, in making it tomorrow unless something really strange happens. Uh, um, and as Nate had, or at, not Nate, <laughs> I'm sorry, I looked over the Sunday horn. But uh, as Ominous had said earlier, everyone that qualifies today or everyone that went 5-0, and sorry, not everyone that qualified, but the 5-0s and are both getting those awesome, awesome, awesome uh, acrylic, acrylic AMG official range rulers. Yeah, that's um, dope. So that's that's stellar. I mean, they're not like white, black, and red painted, and you know, <laughs> measurement tools, right, but, but they're pretty close. They're pretty. You know cool. what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> so, guys, uh, join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, the Long Shanks's will be go the Long Shanks Eye will be going live tonight. Uh, as far as rosters, uh, I believe it's only a handful of hours that players have to get in their MCT coded yeah. rosters into the Long Shanks. So we will know this evening who is in and who is playing and what they are playing. And are we going to have the full bracket as well? We will have the full bracket. So we've got well. it all. So we can we can see the path for mm -hmm. some of our top players. We know uh, who we want to keep looking at. Uh, and we'll talk about all that tomorrow. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for the subs today. Uh, a lot of support from you all. Uh, it absolutely is why we were able to do this and come to these conventions and, and stream these games. Um, it helps MCP grow, it helps get the word out there, and it helps more awesome people come into an awesome game and an awesome community. So guys, thank you so much. Once again, we'll see you tomorrow, professionalcasual.com. Find all of our podcasts. We do all sorts of different stuff here. Marvel Crisis Protocol, Shatterpoint, WFRP, Warhammer the Old World. We just launched a new podcast this past week for Warhammer the Old World. Patreon.com slash professional casual has all sorts of extra goodies, access to higher levels of the Discord. You can also join the Discord for free. That link is pretty much everywhere. Follow the YouTube. Uh, but people on the Patreon get episodes a week early. They get video for particular shows and stuff as well. Listen, if you never want to run out of content, professionalcasual.com is certainly a place to put that on a good on a good road. But guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Oh, Good and night. thank you to Richie oh, yeah. and, and Taylor. Like yeah. Massive thank yous yeah. to these people. Taylor our eyes in the sky all day, communicating directly into my ear holes. Uh, and honestly, I think it was the best communication we've ever had. It uh, worked yeah. out famously. Yeah, these were great. Absolutely. Um, For sure. And Richie, first time commentator, at least here on the network, uh, showing up and being incredibly supportive and just absolutely stellar, guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Matt and Alex, good to see you. <laughs> and guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank Bye. you, guys. Have a great night. Go Bills. Yeah, I guess you'd have to be within range three. Forgot about Green Delusion. That's the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it changes all the crit results to skulls. All right, nothing happened. Yeah! I remembered. <laughs> what a time. <laughs> what a time. Sometimes uh, the gods just like to laugh. And they're like, hey, let's get them really excited for a second before we kick them in the nuts again. Such a great role. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost feel bad about that. Not that's really. what it's there for. Right? That's, that's exactly what it's for.